We should search the area. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. Does that mean the mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Lord Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer, or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. I don't care what they say about me. You should. The game has crushed far more powerful institutions than your Inquisition. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thetis. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. 
What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful with it. <laughs> I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Mont Simard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Charmed, Lady Vivienne. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Is your interest in the Inquisition, Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivienne. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the orders somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. 
You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. I think the Templars are worth investigating. I agree. What could the Lord Seeker be up to? We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The Mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel Mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. And does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. My scouts still comb the hills for clues about the explosion. I'll take what I can find. Templars must help us close the breach. The Order was founded to fight magic. We must first convince the Lord Seeker to bring the Templars out of exile. We've received word from a Knight recruit. They gather at Therenfall Redoubt. It has been vacant for decades. Why go there? We must approach the Lord Seeker again to get anywhere. We can ask him then. If we present a plan to seal the breach, 
The Templars may ally with us. First, we must prove ourselves a more attractive prospect. If it's status the Lord Seeker seeks, the Inquisition will approach him after allying with the noblest houses in Orlais. They'll come with us to Therenfall and demand the Templars' help close the breach. You believe that will work? Even the Lord Seeker would find it difficult to ignore so many nobles on his doorstep. Yes, especially when led by the Herald of Andraste. If it stops the sky from ripping open, I'm listening. Rumors you were saved from the Fade by Andraste have grown legion among the Templars. We've done our part to encourage them. A herald with a few companions may be dismissed, easily set aside. That same herald returning with noble support will be reconsidered, as will the power of the Inquisition. If I have a growing reputation, we may as well use it. If it moves the Templars to question the Lord Seeker's orders, he may rethink his stance. With respect, after his appearance in Valroyo, hang what the Lord Seeker thinks. We do not need the Lord Seeker. We need his Templars, with or without his approval. The breach will not wait for our differences to settle. Good news. Several noble or legion houses will petition the Templars to help us stop the breach. Lord Abernash will approach you. Sign.